Orange County is on track to move into the yellow tier. That means more people can go to restaurants, movie theaters, theme parks, sporting events, and concerts. It also means bars can open indoors. All this could happen as soon as Wednesday. Joining us to talk more about this and about the future of mass in Orange County is Katrina Foley, the supervisor from Orange County and the former mayor of Costa Mesa. Welcome, Madam Supervisor. Hi, how's everybody doing tonight? It's a great, it's a great time in California. We're getting out of this pandemic. I cannot wait until the summer. So, so tell us how uh, Orange County is doing to get to that point to the yellow tier. Well, most importantly, we have nearly more than 2 million people vaccinated here in Orange County. We're down to about 700,000 eligible residents that we need to vaccinate to get to herd immunity. And so that is a big part of why our positivity is low, our hospitalizations are low, our ICUs are low, and we're just getting back to normal. It's so exciting. Well, and, and a lot of people think part of getting back to normal is taking off the mask. Last week, we heard from the CDC saying if you have been fully vaccinated, you can take off your mask indoor and outdoor and not have to socially distance. We just were reporting earlier that a couple of your colleagues on the Orange County Board of Supervisors, your Republican colleagues, uh, have uh, written to the governor saying that they don't like this idea of waiting four weeks to get rid of the mask mandate. They say get rid of it now. Other states are getting rid of it now. The CDC says the science says we should get rid of it now. Why should we wait? What do you think about that? Well, we're not quite there yet. We're, we still have more work to do to get to herd immunity. And if you look at the CDC guidance, it actually had a lot of caveats. It's like, don't take your mask off if you're in crowded places, wear your mask for public transportation on airplanes, etc. Hey, there's my good friend Tim Tabor at Dick Churches. I can't wait to get back to their place and have some live music. But basically, I'm wearing my mask whenever I'm out in a crowded place. My team here still in the office, we wear our masks. Um, we're all vaccinated, but when you're out in public, at restaurants or out shopping and the like, you may not know if a person's vaccinated or not, and we're not quite to herd immunity. So I don't know, I'm always better safe than sorry. All right, so LA County already in the yellow tier. What will it mean for Orange County? Where do you think you're gonna see the greatest boost? Oh, we're gonna see the greatest boost in our theme parks. We have the fair opening this summer, um, and we're gonna start to see people going back for live music, our theaters, our performing arts centers. Um, this is what I can't wait to get to participate in. I know that so many residents are ready to get back to all the live music venues that we have here in Orange County and uh, back to uh, going to our amusement parks um, at a higher capacity. Angel Stadium gets to have more people going to the baseball game. And so um, we're, you know, everyone has worked so hard in Orange County and across California to get out of this pandemic. And we're just, we're almost there. Yeah, we saw, we saw a lot of controversy recently at the Orange County Board of Supervisors meeting about this idea of verifying whether somebody has been vaccinated or not. There was an idea floated of having sort of an online system that would show that you've been vaccinated. Here was the protest that showed up. Many of these people, frankly, misinformed about what it was. It was not a mandatory uh, system. It was something that was being offered, which is frankly in, in, in place right now in LA County as we speak. Uh, what did you make of this moment? And what are you looking at doing in terms of being able to verify for these businesses and the Angel Stadium and other places that you just mentioned that somebody has in fact been va uh, vaccinated? Well, you know, you're right, Alex. There was a lot of misinformation. Many of the speakers that showed up believed that we were mandating uh, vaccines. One, they believed we were mandating this digital approach. All of that was false. We were trying to just offer a convenient tool for consumers who want to travel to foreign countries, who want to go to sporting events um, and sit in vaccine zones, if you will. Um, but the, the board decided against moving forward, and uh, that's where we are now. Um, but I will say there was a study out of Chapman University 
Uh, 80% of Orange County residents believe in vaccines, 80%. That's huge. And so uh, I've been an advocate of the vaccine, of wearing masks, yeah. of following the science, and I'll continue to do so. All right, Orange County Supervisor. Katrina Foley, thank you for your time. And she has me thinking about all the places I want to now go visit oh, in Orange County. I love Orange County. Thank all you. Right.